Lynn, what is it about this time of year that makes me want to dye my hair blue or get a tattoo? Because this is the time of year that the Chicago Cubs return to Wrigley Field. And sometimes a new hat is just not enough. Because we need our rituals. Because rituals are a part of human experience, religious, mystical, sexual. Is there any question that baseball is rife with ritual and romance? Rituals have prehistoric roots, and to this day, rituals are about keeping groups of human beings together. In Malaysia, you can walk on red-hot burning embers to cleanse the spirit, or as Cub fans call it, 2003. The turning of the bones ritual in Madagascar involves actually digging up the fragile remains of loved ones to dance with them. And as a Cub fan, I think we can all agree, whatever works. <laughs> Professional baseball is a simmering stockpot of ritual. Players will try anything to give them an edge. Wade Boggs ate chicken before every game. Some players took special showers to toughen the skin on their hands. Fans are no different. We will return to the tavern where we watch the Cubs win. During the playoffs, we will fly into a panic if our favorite jersey is misplaced. I tried to jinx Florida one year by grilling soy marinated Marlin steaks on my Weber. It did not work. And ever since I lost my lucky Cub season ticket holder, uh, season ticket holder cap in Siena, Italy last November, I am accepting responsibility. Yes, if the Cubs run into problems this year, I will blame myself and the entire country of Italy. <laughs> what does this time of year make you think about dyeing your hair blue or getting a tattoo? Because we learned we trust black magic just as much as the scouts. You know, just in case there's a scenario where in our lives, Calvin Schiraldi becomes our closer. Just in case Tuffy Rhodes never hits three home runs in a game again. And what ritual this time of year combines all the passion of the famous Taiwanese chicken beheading ritual with the pageantry of the Scottish swinging fireballs ritual? This one, this ritual, the ritual of opening day, better than the first day of spring. A ritual that requires the sharing of fermented hops. A ritual that demands we don the deep blue ceremonial garb of our Chicago Cubs. Because every year we gather in a bar for our own sacred ritual. We listen to music. We sing. We chant. Let's go Cubs. Let's go Cubs. We chant like monks at dawn. This ritual, this tradition handed down from mother to son, from father to daughter. Opening day at Wrigley Field. Some will paint their faces blue or dye their hair. Some will submit to a tattoo in the knowledge that all the pain was worth it. But whether or not we imprint a Cubs logo on our arms, we are all branded by the Cubs on our hearts. Because this is the year we observe this ritual for the World Series champions on 93 XRT, Chicago's finest rock.